Building your QI team. After completing this module, participants will be able to identify when a QI team is needed, describe the various roles found in a QI team, and discuss the responsibilities of the roles within the team. When thinking through a problem, you want to be certain that the improvement you are seeking can be better accomplished by creating a QI project team and not just a singular activity or a one-off task. Not everything is a project and not everything requires a team. This can be a bit of a gray area, but looking at the issue at hand through these criteria can help you decide whether you'll need to assemble a team. Will the changes made affect multiple roles that work together as opposed opposed to affecting a single individual. Does the change or improvement needed cut across multiple roles, units, or departments? Is a process involved? So again, does it span multiple departments? And we'll define what a process is in the Processes and system, Systems module. Is the problem recurring? So have past efforts to improve the problem worked in the past? Maybe you've already tried the just fix it approach. Will multiple cycles of improvement or iterative tests of change to test and refine the change be needed? Will information need to be gathered systematically to clarify issues? Is the issue not a quick fix, but rather, is it a deeper system or process problem? Teams are valuable because they combine individuals' unique knowledge and skills to bring about meaningful and sustainable improvements. Quality improvement is a journey and involves doing things differently to achieve real change. It involves a deep understanding of the problem leadership and staff commitment to changes that will make a difference, implementing tests of change and evaluating the impact on staff and the intended outcomes. People affected by the processes and outcomes of the work must be involved. It is usually a combination of several of the factors here that indicates a need to recognize this work as a needed quality improvement project. Create a QI project charter document, which is discussed in the QI charters and work plans module, and assemble a team. Let's talk about the concept of building a QI team and take a closer look at the roles that typically are needed on this type of team. Based on what you're trying to improve, you may not need to fill certain roles, and multiple roles may be covered by a single team member. Some common roles include a project sponsor, a team leader or a project manager, a meeting facilitator, a team contributor or possibly a subject matter expert, a data specialist, a health information technology champion or specialist, a scribe or a note taker. Compared to traditional hierarchical work with managers and those who report to them, the QI team optimally will have a flatter structure where members have members will leave their stripes or their hierarchical ranking at the door and put the team members all on equal footing. The idea is to fill the needed responsibilities and have members contribute to solve the issue or the opportunity at hand. An effective approach is to think of some of the listed roles here more as responsibilities, which can be shared or rotated, especially the role of facilitator or scribe slash note taker. QI teams need diversity, people with different skills, experience, knowledge, and perspectives. Also, staff members who are directly involved with the issue or the opportunity at hand should be represented on the team. We'll talk a little bit more about the, the responsibilities of each role. 
The project sponsor is frequently an executive or another person in a leadership position that empowers the QI team to undertake its work. The project sponsor will determine scope and authority of the QI team, assist in defining purpose of the team's work, they work with the team leader to develop a project charter and to guide the team. They secure necessary resources for the team, such as allocating the time in the team member's work schedule. They ensure the right people, ensure that the right people are at the table. They help to improve, they help to remove barriers that the team might encounter. They will review and provide feedback regarding the project outcomes. They help to disseminate information about the project's purpose and the outcomes throughout the organization. The sponsor may participate in team meetings at the onset and the conclusion of the project, and they may attend meetings on an as-needed basis depending on the scope and duration. The team lead typically communicates with and confers with the sponsor throughout the project. The team leader or the project manager provides guidance and direction for the Q QI team. They also secure organizational support and necessary resources with the project sponsor. They identify and recruit team members. They work with the sponsor to develop a charter. They review and discuss the project charter with the team. They drive and manage the project. They develop a work plan and a timeline. They ensure tests of change are implemented and oversee data collection. They schedule meetings and develop agendas. And they are responsible for the communication plan and ensure necessary communication outside the immediate team. We'll take a closer look at a sample communication plan in the communication module. The meeting facilitator can sometimes be rotated among members experienced in facilitation. This role works with the team leader to prepare the agenda and ensure availability of meeting resources including room, virtual bridge, which was is like Zoom or WebEx or Teams, uh, and then equipment, etc. Um, they will guide the discussion, including opening the meeting and reviewing the meeting purpose and goals, keeping the discussion focused on the topic at hand, and then closing the conversation out with the necessary actions and discussions, decisions needed. They keep the group conscious of the purpose, progress, and time. They periodically synthesize and summarize themes to test understanding. They assist to identify and resolve conflict, and they assist in developing action steps or the closing phase of the meeting. Team members or team contributors are often subject matter experts who have intimate knowledge of the processes involved in the issue at hand. The contributors are expected to participate fully to support and achieve the goals of the project charter, help gather and interpret needed information, act as a liaison with others in the organization as needed, provide subject matter expertise about processes they carry out, advance their learning and skills about QI as they engage in the project. This is a generalized list of tasks for this role, and it could also include other activities that rely on any member's particular expertise or job function. There isn't a specific number of team contributors you'll have on your team, but one or two that represent and understand the processes under discussion is typical. You'll have more contributors if your scope is larger and covers broader multidisciplinary or cross-departmental processes. The data specialist role is a key role on your QI team. The data specialist collects and aggregates data. They help with reporting the data visualization needs using charts, graphs, and tables. They are conversant and knowledgeable about the content and topics presented in the U Using Data module. Team members can grow into this role during the QI project, particularly if you have not had a person that would be able to fulfill this role. 
If you discover that someone on your team has special interest in learning these tasks, this is a good opportunity to develop staff members' skills in data collection and analysis. The Health Information Technology Champion or Specialist role is filled by one of your team members who could be an information technology or information specialist resource. They might also be a staff or a functional role who has had extra training in your electronic health record, often a super user. This person supports the QI team in leveraging electronic systems to achieve the project goal. Provide perspective based on deeper understanding of the electronic health record and or other electronic systems. Overall, they are a person or a several people on your team who have deeper understanding of their EHR and how it supports the workflow. They might find themselves working closely with the data specialist or this may be a combined role where the system specialist and the data specialist are covered by a single team member. Lastly, it is helpful to have someone fill the role of scribe or note taker at your meetings as this role requires focusing on capturing conversation summaries, decisions made, action items, and for some, it can make it harder for them to also fully contribute their thoughts and ideas at the same time. This role may rotate among team members unless you have someone that enjoys the task, or maybe you have an administrative support person that can attend and take on this work for your team. This ro these roles have been, that have been presented here may be combined, assigned to a particular person, or may be divided up differently depending on how you structure your QI teamwork. Remember to consider a QI team approach anytime changes to processes impact more than one person and extend across units or departments or when the problem is recurring you know, past attempts to fix the problem didn't solve it. Common roles needed for QI teams include team sponsor, team leader, project manager, meeting facilitator, subject matter experts, data specialists, health information technology specialists, note takers. People may fulfill more than one role, but it's important to make sure that all roles are covered. Each QI team role has important responsibilities that help ensure the project success. Being clear about the roles helps to avoid duplication of work, role ambiguity, and tasks slipping through the cracks. It helps members recognize that the success of the team is a shared responsibility. Stratus Health is a nonprofit organization that leads collaboration and innovation in healthcare quality and safety and serves as a trusted expert in facilitating improvement for people and communities.